a very significant uh, visit to the Namibian Embassy, albeit uh, obviously through set uh, uh, circumstances. Uh, how important is this? Um, is this visit for you? Not uh, obviously you no longer have a party, but as a political figure. Well, I must say that uh, I'm here uh, precisely representing the people of Zimbabwe who believe uh, in the alternative, who have supported and who continue to support. Uh, you are aware that we recently had our elections, the 2023-23 August election. Over 2 million people voted. It is those voices I carry. So I don't need a political party. As I come, it's not about politics. It's about honoring a giant. You are aware that uh, President A. Genkop uh, was familiar to myself, in my personal capacity, as a leader, as a young African, but more importantly, in the context of SADC. So I'm here to pay my condolences to this giant, to this great icon, to this doyen of democracy, to the men who contribute so much, not just to Namibia, but also to Africa and not just to Africa, but to humanity. You know, he made a difference. He was a Democrat. He was uh, a believer in justice and freedom. Uh, and he, he did not arrest opponents. He did not incarcerate those who differed with him. He held elections without undermining their integrity. He observed the guidelines on elections within Sadak. So for that reason, we honor him. And we are coming here to pay our tribute to the great giant and to say he has laid you know, the framework, he has created the path. Ours is to walk in his footsteps. You know, when the giants have already created the way and found a way, ours is to uplift their legacy as young Africans, as a young African leader. We are proud of what they have started. That legacy must be perpetuated. Democracy, freedom, justice, and making sure that we have African solutions to African problems. And also it's a big lesson to those in the region who are still laggards in observing you know, guidelines on democracy, free and fair elections, to also emulate and take a leaf from what President Hague Genko gave and offered in his lifetime. All right, Mr. Mayor for ZTM Prime. Okay. Um, from our understanding, you left your political party that you created. So what's next for you? Well, I'm here not to talk about parties. I'm here to honor President Hen Genko. Once we are ready, like I said, I'm going to give Zimbabwe a clear uh, direction. But for now, it is the Lakers that we are celebrating. President Genko did exceptionally well and we must honor him. The best way to honor him is to make sure that we leave his legacy and we make sure that we survive and um, uh, thrive his legacy. Uh, and then uh, you say you had a personal relationship with, uh, with, uh, with the late president. What, what, what did you hope for, for Zimbabwe? Well, of course, in the context of our disputed elections, we engaged him. We sent a, a team to Namibia. We are happy that he received our team uh, through the Foreign Affairs Ministry and we were engaging uh, to find a common solution. Many people think that uh, 2023 is done and dusted. Far from it. In fact, it has not yet been concluded. The election in Zimbabwe was not done properly. Pay SADC standards, pay AU standards, pay even global standards. And because of that, we want to make sure that we resolve the issue of elections. We won that election. Uh, Mr. Menangag was declared the winner. Uh, and that brings the disjuncture and the distortion, and that distortion must be addressed. We need to fix the issue of what the people voted for. Zimbabweans voted for change, and that change must happen. And that's the context of our conversations. So we, we have done a lot of work, uh, and we're still doing much more work within the context of SADC, and also helping uh, our cause as Zimbabweans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.